Hi and welcome to Rainbow Unicorn Cat One channel. This is Cat's mom and today I'm going to show you how to make a fruit salad bowl for your American Girl dolls. This video is intended for adults as it uses potentially dangerous techniques and tools. So if you're under 18, please have an adult help you. American Girl just released their new Hungry for Hot launch set. If this is something you'd like to make, come back to our channel tomorrow. A crafting video will be uploaded hopefully at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once that video is uploaded, I'll put the link to it in the description box below. I know I haven't posted a crafting video in a while, but I really enjoy crafting for our dolls. I'll try to post a new crafting video every week, or at least once every two weeks. And there's already a crafting for AG dolls playlist on our channel. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description box below. We have quite a few crafts there already. Definitely check them out if you are into crafting. And by the way, if you're interested in all things American Girl but not yet subscribed to our channel, I definitely recommend doing so. And if you ring the notification bell, YouTube will always notify you when we upload a new video. We usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we post on other days as well. We are going to start with making a bowl for our fruit salad. I'm going to use this travel size shampoo bottle. Obviously, I'll need to clean it and remove the label first. I like to use this bottle because the plastic is transparent, so it will work great to make a pretend glass bowl. Here's a cap for all my hair product. You can also use it, it also will work fine, you just need to cut the top off. This is a bottle from Tylenol, which will also work, but your bowl will not be transparent. And finally, these come from egg cartons, they will also work. And finally, I have these top parts from probiotic drinks. You might remember last year we used them to make Italian ices. You can use them for a fruit bowl as well. Right now, I removed the label and kind of cleaned the inside of the bottle. I'll clean the rest of it later. I'm going to cut the top part of it off with this mini hacksaw that I got at Home Depot. It's great for cutting plastic and wood, and I believe it was under $10. I have used it in many projects already, so it's definitely worth it. Just be very careful when you cut it. Your safety is a priority here. This is going to be the base of our fruit bowl. And I'm going to make another cut a bit higher, depending on how tall you want your fruit bowl to be. It's better to make a cut higher than you intend, because you can always trim the excess with scissors later on. Now let's smooth the edges and give our bowl a finished look. I got my iron on the high setting and now I just kind of keep pressing it quickly. You press and you let go so it doesn't get stuck to the iron for a long period of time. And I'm going to do this to the top and the bottom parts of the bowl. I know in this video it looks like my fingers are touching the hot iron, but they're not. Do not touch the iron with your fingers. Now I'm going to grab whatever's left from that travel size shampoo bottle and cut a circle from the bottom of it. It should be large enough to cover up the hole on the bottom of our bowl. Since my bottom part is not an ideal circle, I'm going to sand it down a little bit with a nail file. I keep a nail file just for projects like this. You can also use sandpaper, whatever works for you. And now I'm going to carefully apply some hot glue and our bowl will be ready. You can use the same technique to make other kitchen items for your 18 inch dolls. They can be transparent to imitate the look of glass, or they can be a solid color. Look at this. I just love how this bowl came out. Now let's make some fruit. You can use model magic. 
I'm gonna use a similar off-brand clay that I got at Target. I'm gonna start with making some apple slices. I'm gonna have apple slices of three colors, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, and Red Delicious. So I'm gonna make three of these. You're gonna shape a ball and it should be slightly bigger than what an America Girl apple would be. I'm gonna make three of these and let them dry according to the instructions on the package. And now I'm gonna make some strawberries. I'm gonna try and shape them to look like strawberries to the best of my ability. And when I'm happy with the overall shape, I'm gonna use the toothpick to make some indentations. For this fruit salad, I recommend making at least five strawberries. The fruit salad from American Girl had some sort of citrus slices in it, either clementines or tangerines. They kind of look like crescent moons, but with softer edges. And now I'm gonna use a toothpick to add more details. I recommend making at least four clementine slices per salad bowl. And the last fruit I'm gonna use in the fruit salad is grapes. I'm gonna make at least five of them. I waited about 24 hours for my fruit to dry, and now it's ready to be painted. I'm gonna add some extra dots to the strawberries. With Model Magic, it didn't really matter when I added them, before or after the clay dried. Now it's time to paint our fruit. I'm gonna use nail polishes, just because I have a lot of them that I don't use anymore for my nails. They make great craft paints because they're already durable and shiny. But you, of course, can use acrylic paints. Once they dry, you can seal them with any kind of clear varnish, including Mod Podge or clear nail polish. I got three apples. I painted one yellow, one green, and one red. If the color is a little bit patchy, don't worry, it's still gonna come out great. This is how I let my fruit dry. It takes good 24 hours. Now that I removed the toothpicks from my fruit, it looks kind of realistic. Look at the details on these strawberries. I think they look great. And the clementine slices came out nice too. Now I'm gonna show you how to make apple slices. I'm only gonna cut the green apple on screen, but you will do the same thing with the red apple and the yellow apple. I think this looks quite a bit like an apple slice. It will look even better in a fruit salad. What do you think? And now is my favorite part, assembling the fruit salad. There are three ways to do it. The first way is to keep all the fruit pieces loose. That way you can use them individually later and create different fruit salads or just use those apple slices just as apple slices and strawberries as just strawberries separately. The second way is to attach the fruit to each other so they become a cluster. And this is just one kind of fruit salad. You can put it in the bowl or you can take it out of the bowl. And the third way you could permanently glue them to the bowl and to each other so that way they cannot come out of the bowl and they just stay looking like that always i'm 
I'm so happy how this came out. I especially love the glass bowl. It looks so cool. It just looks so real to me. This is the first time I made one and I'm definitely making more for different projects. Just look at this, so beautiful. You can use this fruit bowl by itself or you can use it as a part of school lunch. As I mentioned before, tomorrow I'll be posting a crafting video on how to make the newest American Girl lunch set. If this is something you're interested in, definitely come back tomorrow and check it out. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you're not a subscriber yet but interested in everything American Girl related, you should definitely subscribe to our channel. We post all the latest American Girl news, crafts, and unboxing. We post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we post on other days as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time!